It's cold outside, but not cold enough for some margaritas. Let's go over to Steve and Anna. You know what, Janice? Not only time for a margarita, it is because it's National Margarita Day. If you go out and you realize the banks are closed, it is because it is a national holiday. It's National Margarita yeah, Day. Yeah, we're grabbing the tequila and the limes to celebrate. You know, it's what, 737-ish right now, but it's five o'clock somewhere. Absolutely. Say hello to Kyle Ford. He's a master mixologist. Thank you very much for joining us on this joyous day. Oh, my pleasure. And wonderful 28 degree weather outside. <laughs> perfect, like perfect weather for margarita. And you've got four different margaritas for us. And the first one is the mocktail margarita. Yes, this is non-alcoholic in case uh, you're teetotaling today or it's too early in the day for uh, tequila. It's just simply uh, lime sorbet, fresh orange juice, and lime juice. Please right. feel welcome to try that. Oh, all these? Yes, okay. absolutely. Take your pick. Wonderful. Oh, the sorbet's good. The kids would like that. Yes. My, look, my hands are shaking. <laughs> mm, delicious. Now, the classic margarita itself, drink was developed in 1948 and it used only three ingredients. Okay. We all know tequila. Cointreau is the other secret ingredient sure. in there, which is a famous French orange spirit, 80 proof, nice and strong, just as strong as the tequila and fresh lime juice. That's it. Um, it's a big bottle. It's most known for the margarita, obviously, but it's also used in drinks like the sidecar, the white lady. So or the, can be enjoyed on its own, Kyle, just adding fresh citrus. Was the margarita actually named after a woman named Margarita? It was. Miss uh, Margaret Sames, famous mm -hmm. Dallas socialite. Oh. Uh, used to vacation in Acapulco. Um, entertained a bunch of Hollywood socialites at the time. And Cointreau and tequila were two of her favorite things, and she decided to mix them up one day. So the margarita was invented in the 30s and you. 40s, but then the, the uh, icy margarita that so many people enjoy today was, was uh, invented in the 70s, I guess. Um, yes, so if we're talking about like the blended margarita that hails from Dallas, Texas, actually, they're very proud of that. Very nice. Now so that's there's a, a classic margarita. That's, so that's a just, little too boozy for us. Yes. <laughs> okay, make one more really, really fast. There's Absolutely. Little, there's some tequila. Does it Test matter what skills. tequila you use? Uh, I like to use anything that says 100% de agave on it. I prefer oh, Blanco, agave. it's nice right. and clean, but as long as it says 100% de agave, you're good okay. to go. Now, I love, and, and you're about to shake it up, I love to watch, just watch him. He looks like Tom Cruise in that movie. Just watch, <laughs> watch. watch. <laughs> the ice is frozen can over you, out here. Can you show us the technique? <laughs> oh, shoot, we've got to go. Oh, hurry, no. hurry, that's enough, that's enough. All right, hurry up. <laughs> there he goes, <laughs> with a nice little Behind the ear. <laughs> Kyle Ford, Master Mixologist. Sounds like I've had some tequila. <laughs> Quick, quickly. All right, Brian and Gretchen, back to you. If, by yeah. the way, if you like our recipes, uh, go to foxandfriends.com, and we'll have them after the show. All right, fantastic. Margarita Day. Thank you. Thanks very much.